Hi everyone, this is Hannah from Leaf Creative Arts. The year is 2020 and I think many of you would agree that 2020 has got off to a little bit of a weird start in these first few months. So I thought that today we would travel back in time to the 1920s and I'm going to show you some moves inspired by the 1920s Charleston. I was thinking um, that some of the people who've been to our groups in recent years may have been born in the 20s or in the very early 30s and so you might remember from your childhood in the 20s, 30s, 40s swing music. Charleston is a type of swing dance. It would have been um, danced mostly in nightclubs. It was a social dance. It was danced by both men and women. And I think that in those days it was really considered quite daring, um, the kind of things that people wore, especially the ladies, um, the kind of makeup that ladies wore, the way that they cut their their hair very short um, was very unusual and to dance in this sort of carefree way I think at that time was quite bold. So today we're going to celebrate that era. I'm going to show you three moves. I'm going to show you the basic 1920s Charleston step and then I'm going to show you a move called the shoe shine and a move called cherry picking. So I hope you enjoy this this video. Um, I must say I'm a little bit nervous because I've never filmed a dance tutorial or, or a video of any kind before but I know that there's lots of friendly people back watching this at home um, so I think that we'll get through this together. Okay? So just to be clear, um, this is not an authentic 1920s play suit that I'm wearing but it is comfortable to dance in. Um, and I've got my sparkly shoes on which are also very comfortable to dance in. Um, ideally for this dance you want shoes that don't have much of a grip on them. So my shoes are very flat on the bottom. Um, they, they can be quite slippy on the floor, so I've got lots of movement in my feet and my ankles. Um, that's ideally what you want. You don't want shoes with too much of a, a grip or a tread on them. So for these moves, I'm going to show you how to do them standing up, um, like this. But I'm also going to show you how you can adapt those moves for those of you who might be sitting down at this point. Um, I've got a chair over here um, so we'll we'll do those moves by standing up and sitting down. Um, for this basic Charleston step it really doesn't matter which foot you start with but normally when you go to a Charleston class um, you'll begin with the right foot um, which means that you take the right foot forwards first. So because I'm facing you I'd like you to be able to use me as a sort of mirror so if I say right or left I'm talking about your right and your left, which is actually, so your right is my left. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me to do, but um, let's put it to the test, okay? So to start the Charleston basic step, you take your right foot forwards and you tap it on the floor in front of you. It's just a gentle tap. Then you take it behind you and you step on it. Then with your left foot, you take it behind, you tap the floor, you bring it forwards and step on it. So again, right foot forwards, tap, behind, left foot back, tap, in front. Okay? Tap, behind, tap, in front. Right, behind, left, in front. Right, behind, <laughs> I lost my balance there, left, in front, right, behind, left, in front, tap, behind, tap, in front, tap, step, tap, step, good, tap, step, tap, step, just use me like a mirror, right, behind, in front, right, behind, left, in front, good. You might notice that when I move my feet, I move them in a little semicircle. It's not like a big sweep to the side, but nor do I move my feet directly forwards. It's like a gentle semicircle. That's it, gentle semicircle. Okay, so right, behind, left, in front, right, behind, left, in front. 
and you might find that if you do this especially if you do it a little bit faster you naturally get a bit of a bounce so if you imagine that you're just sauntering down a country lane it's a beautiful day a little bit of a spring in your step and as you're sauntering down your country lane with the blue sky overhead and the birds singing get a little swing in your arms and just let those arms swing naturally you don't need to worry about oh do I need to swing them to the left or the right it's what your body will will do automatically there we go and with those arms um, you might have seen Charleston dancers kind of doing this penguin motion with the, with their hands and kind of swinging their arms like this so we've got that as an option but I think that stance with the with the penguin hands and the arms kept quite close to the torso I think that that is the more feminine way of using your arms um, and so if you were a gentleman back in the 1920s doing the Charleston you might have taken your arms a little bit more like this and rather than that very upright stance you might have taken a bit more of a lean um, so it might look something like this but um, this is 2020 and so whether you're a lady or a gentleman you can use your arms in whatever way feels comfortable for you if you quite enjoy that feeling if you want to get your elbows involved it's entirely up to you and you just do whatever feels nice for you okay now if you are sitting at this point in time you can still do the basic step in a similar kind of way um, you can take your right foot forward tap it on the ground put it back then with your left foot tap it behind you and put it back um, it might depend on what kind of chair you're sitting on um, you may be able to tap with your right foot and then put that right foot behind your left foot um, which would then mean that the left foot would have to go a bit further back to tap on the floor and then come in front of the right foot um, so if you've got that um, that much space available to you with your feet you might practice putting one foot behind the other and then that foot in front of the other but if it's not possible to do that it's fine to just tap or put the feet back together side by side tap behind feet side by side so that goes right left right left right left tap in front back together tap behind back together in front, back together, behind, back together, if possible, in front, put this foot behind the other and then tap that foot behind and put it in front, if that's possible with the way that you're sitting. So that foot, this right foot taps, then it goes behind the left foot, the left foot then taps behind the right foot and comes in front so it's tap behind tap behind bring in front tap behind tap bring in front so whatever way is easiest I'm guessing it's probably easiest to just bring your feet back side by side after each tap good and you also might be able to get the arms to swing a little bit at various points I'm going to say arms up and when I say arms up I mean like this and we keep that tap step going okay and the same goes for you people who are standing if I say arms up, I mean a wave like this. Um, 
you have the option of doing a little flick, like a downwards flick with your fingers, like this. You may have seen Charleston dancers doing something a little bit like that. So that's optional. But if it's easiest, and I think it probably is, let's just do a wave like that. Okay. So well done everybody, that is the basic Charleston step that we've learnt so far. Now the next step that I want to show you is called the shoe shine. So take your right foot forwards and literally imagine that you're brushing something off your shoe, just like that, flick, flick, flick. And then with your left foot you would do the same, flick, 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 just like that. If you've got quite a bit of flexibility in your torso, you may want to take a lean down, a bit like this, so that you're really reaching down kind of diagonally towards that shoe so that you can get more dust off effectively. Flick, flick, flick. And the same on the other side. Flick, 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 flick. I did four flicks there, but that's actually only three. And then the next level, if you feel comfortable with that lean, is that you can take the other arm up like that. So that when this arm comes down, that arm goes up, it's like you're expanding your wings, flick, flick, flick. And then on the other side, expand your wings, flick, flick, flick. Okay? For those of you who are sitting, you do exactly the same. Right foot, flick, flick, flick. Left foot, flick, flick, flick. Right foot, flick, flick, flick. Left foot, flick, flick, flick. If it feels comfortable, lean down a little bit, um, and you've actually got actually got an easier job here. I can reach my my feet much easier from a sitting position than I would be able to from a standing position. So I can really brush the dirt off my my shoes. The left, sorry, right, flick, flick, flick. Left, flick, flick, flick. If you want to take this arm up. So you do opposite arms like this, flick, 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 good. Now the final move is called cherry picking. And we're literally going to imagine that we've got a tree with some low hanging branches and we're going to pick some cherries off this tree. So you know how cherries have, um, they've got quite a thin stalk, don't they? So if you wanted to pluck the cherries off, you would just twist like this, twist, 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 that's all all that we're doing. Um, we would start with our, our right hands, twist, 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 twist. And imagine that it's not your cherry tree, so you're pinching cherries off somebody else's tree. So you might feel a bit cheeky, a bit mischievous as you're doing this. And you're, you're looking around, you're going to look around to make sure that nobody is seeing you pinch these cherries. So just in case the neighbour might be coming up to, to see you stealing their cherries, you're going you're gonna to look around like this, and then you're going to look around in the other way, just to check that there's nobody there. And you carry on picking cherries the whole time, so it's like this. And it's like that. Just like that. Um, and I'm doing a little scamper with my feet like this. If it feels possible for you, you might want to kind of flick your, your feet up behind you. So you're doing a little jog, but it's not like a, a jog where you bring your, your knees up. It's more like a flick, 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 flick with your feet. Okay, so it would go flick, 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 flick. But that's optional. You can just sort of a more sedate walk around if that feels easier for you. But just keep picking those cherries as you go. Again, if you're sitting down, you can pick cherries with the best of us, just like that. If you want to take a little scamper with your feet, whilst we're turning around, you can do that. Or you can just use your hands to pick those cherries. Good stuff. All right. So now to put all of those moves together into a dance routine, we would begin with our right foot. Tap, step, 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 tap, 
step, take your arms up, tap, step, 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 step, very good, now into your shoe shine move, flick, 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 feet back together, take the other side, flick, 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 I'm raising this arm but you don't have to, you can just use that arm, flick, 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 that arm, flick, 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 and again, if you feel comfortable taking the lean, you can do, or you can stay upright and just go flick, flick, flick from this distance. It's a similar kind of effect. Then we're going to go back into our basics. Whichever arms you feel comfortable with. Then we're going to take our arms up. If you'd like to, you can have a go at that downwards flick with your fingers. But that is strictly optional. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Great stuff, and then we'll go into our cherries. Starting to turn towards your right. Picking those cherries. Check to the left to see if the neighbours come in to find you picking their cherries. Let's do it again. And then back to the other way. Cool. So you'll have got the impression, I hope, so far. Um, the little Charleston is uh, quite a cheeky little dance. It's not too serious. Um, it's very light-hearted. And that was really the spirit um, that Charleston dancers back in the 20s wanted to capture. They wanted to um, maybe escape from uh, the mundanity of day-to-day -day life. I don't know. They, they just wanted to go out and have some fun when they went, went to their nightclubs. And so it's quite a playful, quite a cheeky, quite a light-hearted kind of dance. So I hope that um, you enjoy doing this dance routine. We're going to put it to some music shortly. Um, I will count for you in eights. So it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the speed. And before we change moves, um, you can tell I'm a little bit out of breath. Before we change moves, I will shout out. So basic, arms up, shoe shine. Cherries. So you always know what we're about to do next move. Okay? I'm going to put some music on. Let's have a go. Now there's just one more move which I didn't show you, which is our finishing position. It's going to look like this. The shoe shine move. If you find it easier just to put both hands up in celebration, that's fine too. And I'm going to count for you at eight. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get ready with your basic set. Five, six, seven, now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms up. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Show me a shoe shine. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's basics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Start cherry picking to your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two times again. Two, three. One, two, three. Back to basics. Arms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cherry picking. Again. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Finish your position. Well done, guys. So well done, guys. That was quite a tricky routine. And if it was your first time ever trying Charleston, I think you can feel very proud of anything that you managed to follow along with and for having a go. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. As I was saying earlier, um, Charleston is such a light-hearted dance. And so I hope you had fun following along. All right, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.